we nab people through the cellar door and enjoy some time on the site and then they get to taste something that's from the land that's you know, um, quite unique. I'm Pete, Pete Eastwood. It's not just the brand name, it's, it is a place. Um, it's farmed as naturally as possible through you know, organics and biodynamics. I mean, we get some beautiful temperature changes through the year and when you compare us to the rest of Central Otago it's, it's um, certainly um, a, a unique little climate as well. So we have our own little microclimate in Monica. Um, you know, we, we sit at the most northern point of Central Otago. We get to stare at these beautiful southern Alps you know, every day, um, which is pretty special. Everything that we produce um, at Ripon comes from our land. So we don't buy in a single grape. Um, you know, it's farming is a true reflection of our unique site. I mean, Rolf Mills um, and Lois were the, the two, you know, behind um, putting in the infrastructure of vines. Um, they were goat farming before that, um, so um, which is, you know, again, probably seen as a little bit odd um, for this region, which was all about sheep and beef farming, and they had goats. Um, but they sold their goats and took the whole family to Burgundy um, and it was really, you know, to, to go away and learn the art and craft of winemaking, um, certainly in the home of Pinot Noir, and, and to look at how that, um, they could bring that craft back here. Our cellar doors, you know, is a beautiful place to obviously come and visit and experience our wine on the property. We're a small family property, we don't go and distribute through the likes of supermarkets in New yeah. Zealand. So we, we like to follow a, a model that's similar to kind of who we are and people being able to tell our story and, and what makes us a little bit unique. Because we're pioneers and there was no true association with exactly what would work in this region, um, so Rolf put the word out to, to anyone he could find to, to provide different varieties. Um, so we managed to pick up about 30 different varieties um, you know, to, to bring in. Um, we then looked at the varieties that really stood up and, and showed that they, you know, they deserve to be on this site. Um, it's a long period of time to work out what varieties best reflect our site. Um, so we have one hectare here of Osteiner. Um, and then the others are in Germany, but we actually can't find them at the moment. So we can't find another bottle of Ostliner in the same, same shape and form as what we've got. So that's quite cool. Um, and then obviously, so Sauvignon Blanc. So we've, we've got a Centro Targo Sauvignon. Um, Pinot Noir makes up just over half the property. Um, and then we've got 12 rows of Gamay. Um, we also do Riesling and Gewürztraminer as well. Two beautiful varieties that reflect the site really well. And certainly from the, the climate and the environment to how we farm, you know, to how what happens in that, that room as well. Yeah. It's, it's all a pretty special experience, um, something that they can take away with them and then you see our label on the shelf somewhere, you know exactly where it's come from. Yeah.